Hey there, Sean here, and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Gex Into the Gecko. This is it. We're taking the fight directly to Rez's doorstep. It's time to go to Channel Z. You finally met your match, young lizard. Also, Rez does give us a gold remote. Oddly enough, it's not useful in any way, but defeat Rez in the final battle. <laughs> Okay, now we're in 1984. <laughs> Reminds me of... Prepare to under my yeah, you read this whole big elevator up here and listen to Rez insult you the whole way. Reminds me of Crash that one... Reminds me of that one Crash Bandicoot. Right? Good. I'm glad I have your full attention, Rez. Yeah, here's Rez. This is... No ping. Can't stop it, really. But, here's what you do. You drive him right into that electrifying thing. On occasion, he'll switch to a first-person view and attempt to shoot you with his missiles. Of course, it doesn't work, because he's... Alright, terrible at hitting you, but... Now, the goal here... At first, is to get him in... to the center of this electrifying force field. Which will electrocute him and... and send him flying. He's not as big as you thought he was, is he? <laughs> he looked gigantic in everything else you saw him in, didn't he? Just keep doing this. And... As far as final bosses go, he's actually pretty easy to defeat. I'll just let him in there again. But now. Now the battle changes. Now is when we fight the true Rez. I gotta make it. Thank you, Gex. Now we're fighting giant Rez. And as you can see, the tactics change up immensely. Have him stomp that, and a TV will fall on him. Damaging him. It's a little, uh... A little chaotic, because only one button pops up the whole time that you're doing this. Which... Basically serves to, uh... Keep the fight prolonged. You just kind of got to hope that you're, uh... Hello, friends. That you're in the right area when he starts blasting you with laser beams. Ow. I don't know if I'm going to make it in time. I did not make it in time. That's okay. His pattern is pretty easy to, uh, decipher. When he starts firing laser beams, that's when you just keep it running. Oh, there we go. See, this episode is just a little bit longer than the last one. I told you it would be. Yep, Gex is dead. I'm uh, not Gex, I mean Rez. Rez is dead, that's it. The game's over. And he's just a little green blob thing. That's a pretty weird ending, isn't it? Gex, it is me, your father. Yeah, right. How can you be my father? It's true. I didn't always look like this. I fell into a scrap heap while trying to get free cable. 
And your point is... No! No! Don't do it! I'll do anything! I know Tarantino's gardener's fiance! I could probably get you a meeting. Okay then, Dad. <laughs> How's about we forget all this and go play catch in the yard? There's Nikki from Pandemonium. Bought my tongue, golly. Come over here, you big stud. Oh, here's a nice little bonus thing that I didn't know was possible to see. I guess this is what you get for 100%. That doctor guy, he shows up later. He shows up in the third game. Even. Oh, this is actually kind of neat. Is that Pac-Man? Mummy Gecko. Unused sumo guy. Level concepts. I'd like to take time to say I did not expect this to happen at the end of the game. <laughs> I've actually never seen this before. Okay, here it goes. Hot off the presses from the home office in Kapalawani, Maui, the top 10 reasons why it's cool to be me gets. Number 10, can look down blouses when hanging from ceiling. Number 9, inheritance from Uncle Izod means no longer having to kiss video game executives' butt. Number 8, ladies love a gecko's smooth skin and smooth mood. Number seven, able to kick Kermit the Frog's butt. Number six, perfect star for Hollywood, already has forked tongue. Number five, dad is a megalomaniac TV killer who happens to dress like the Tin Man. Oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. That goes with the son of Ross Perot top ten. Number four, being a video game star allows you to eat all you want and never gain weight. Number three, Gecko tastes like chicken. Number two, important Gecko appendages do grow back. And the number one reason why it's cool to be me, Gex, can be a complete punk and still sucker video game execs to keep doling out the green. It's good to be a Gecko. Yeah, that was a reference to David Letterman there. And then we got these here credits. And you can see who put all the work into this game. This fantastic game. Original Gex character Lyle Hall. Voice of Gex Danny Google. Leslie Phillips. Some people like Leslie Phillips. Bruce Robertson is Rez. And some people like Leslie Phillips' version of the character. I personally like Dana Gould, but that's just because I grew up with Dana Gould. So. Oh, yeah, a little Easter egg there. Uh, Gex isn't wearing his tuxedo like he normally would be at the title screen. Any 
press X to continue. Not a very big staff, is it? Yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's the end of Gex into the Gecko. Because now it just takes us right back to the title screen. And there's, uh, there's nothing really else left to do. See, Tux. Well, thank you for watching the video and pretty much watching this whole series. One of my favorite games. Top 15 at least. Um, I appreciate your, your viewership. You can friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and hang out with me on Steam and the Backluggery. This is Sun, signing off! Would you kindly join me for my next Let's Play in the future? I hope so.